Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be leveling up your SaaS skills. Um, I thought it would be nice before we got into Compass to add a few more things to our SaaS basics lessons that I haven't covered yet. Um, and one of which is just sort of hammering home um, what you can do with mixins, and this will be using a mixin with an if else statement. Um, in this video, we're going to be making a couple of shapes, as in a circle and a triangle. And in, in these cases, um, we're just going to be using anchor links so they can click on them. As you can see, nothing showing up right now because I'm using an image replacement. Um, I'm actually using a modified version of the image replacement uh, technique that's in the, uh, the latest version of HTML5 boilerplate. Um, if you haven't seen it, um, this blog post that it was actually March 6th, uh, 2012, explains a little bit about um, how that works. It's pretty cool. And uh, so right now, I mean, you would typically see some text. Let's say if I comment this out, you'll see our circle and our triangle links. Um, so let's put that back. Okay. So first off, we want to build our circle mixin. So if you remember from the mixin tutorials, we're going to do at mixin. And then uh, here, we're going to give it a name. So it's going to be circle and in the circle mixin, we're going to pass it one parameter, and we're going to um, create the circle with with just that parameter. So we're just going to pass it pass it the width that you would like to give it. And if you're not familiar with uh, with creating um, circles within CSS, it's pretty simple. Basically, you just have an item that has uh, the same width and height, and then the border radius is at least half of that width or height on all of the, the edges, and then it will make a circle. So this is going to automate that a little bit. So um, within our mixin, we are just going to, um, I'm going to grab the border radius from CSS3, please. Um, of course, when we get into compass in the next couple of tutorials, um, you won't have to do this anymore. Let's see. delete these comments out. Okay, so um, if you recall with mixins before, with anything, you use your variable in replace of um, the border radius. But since, we, you know, we don't, you know, want anything more than we have to have, we're going to divide that width by two because that's all we need for the border radius so that it creates a circle. And the width is going to be, of course, the width and Height is going to be also width, width, okay. So now, um, if we pass it, uh, if we want to use that mixin, we do at include circle, and then um, whatever our uh, desired width is. So let's do 100 pixels just so we can see it in action. We refresh, and there's our circle. If we do 200 pixels save even larger circle um, and so you know we could even do other things let's say you wanted to add the background as being a another parameter you could just do you know color and then transplant that into here and this will you know save you just a little bit more code get rid of this and then now we're going to pass it that comma and then our color value refresh okay now we can change it all around whenever we need um, and it's always going to give you the same circle so that's creating a circle within SAS uh, as a mixin but what if we wanted to create a triangle um, if you're not familiar with creating triangles in, in CSS um, it's pretty simple so you can see on CSS tricks, um, you're pretty much giving it, uh, it's the way that, that borders sort of, um, the way that, that borders fill in their width. Uh, if you give a, a, let's say in this case, you give a left border um, a large width and then create a top and bottom border, but then set them to transparent, it's gonna create these triangular edges. So. Um, by having a large border left, it's creating an arrow pointing right. 
So we want to make this mixin nice and uh, configurable. So we're going to be passing it um, this up. So we're going to be passing it the width. We're going to be passing it the uh, direction, and we're going to be passing it a color, because in this case uh, we're going to have to be passing it the color um, because you're declaring the color on the border, not on the background. So I mean, you could probably just give it a border color um, with outside, but this might be a little bit nicer um, for when you're coding. So the way we're going to do this is with a large if and else statement. So we're going to do if, and um, we're going to do if the direction is equal to, and then we're going to say up, um, we're going to want to um, grab this code here. Um, so you could uh, actually take this width and height out of here and put it on your, your triangle. Um, but since we want this mix in to generate all the things that we need for a triangle anyways, we might as well just leave it in there. Um, so this is going to be a upwards triangle. So we want a border left, border right, and border bottom. Um, the border bottom, of course, is the only one that's going to be receiving our color. Um, the other ones do need to receive our width, however. Okay, so next we're going to do an at else if, and then we're going to check the direction again, and we're going to do direction is equal to, um, we'll just do down, keep it uh, the same way as it is here. We'll just copy and paste this here. And this time um, we want to change since it's, uh, going down, keep it left and right. However, we're just going to have this be border top. Okay, so right now it's checking the direction and then passing your color and width. So if we check our terminal, there should be no issues. And if we want to call this mix in right now, we can. So let's actually just test it out to make sure everything's going fine. So we're going to do add include and then we're going to triangle. And then in triangle, of course, we're going to pass it. We'll give it 200 pixels width. We're going to say it's up. And we're going to give it a color of 888. Save that out. And refresh our document. And there's our large triangle. Um, it's actually really cool. So uh, now if we change this to down, save, refresh, there's our, our down triangle. So if you notice, our triangle is actually twice as large as our circle, um, even though we both have 200 and 200. Well, it's the way that CSS triangles work. Um, this border is 200, and this border is 200. So if we want this triangle to be, um, if we want this triangle to be uh, the same width as the circle, we're actually going to have to divide all of these by two. So now you can see that the uh, the triangle is the same width. So if we finish this out, uh, like I've already done, I'm just going to paste it here. Um, you can see I didn't divide by two on the widths because when you're going left and right, uh, the width is actually going to be um, this distance here. So as you can see, if we go to the right here, you can see it's 200 pixels wide. So if we wanted something that was um, you know, only 100, 100 pixels wide, you know, it's as simple as that. So now we have this reusable mix in here that anytime we want to um, change any, uh, or we really want to add like a block element to become a triangle, um, we just can pass this, pass a color value in. Um, for fun, let's just pass in red, say fresh, and now we have uh, triangles. Well, that's it for this lesson. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave a comment on one of our YouTube videos or send us a message directly. Um, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.